Hi, I'm Rona, Deputy Everything Officer at SONA. In this series of videos, we'll be looking at the fundamentals of project management. We'll define the important terms, discuss project management life cycles and methodologies, and look at some of the more common project management techniques. To kick off, we're looking at 12 key project management terms that I think everyone involved in projects should know. I'll never forget sitting in my first project meeting and feeling completely out of my depth as I could barely follow the conversation that flowed around me. Words like RAG, Gantt and Triple Constraint had me feeling like I'd dropped into an alien environment and we were waiting for the spaceship to come and take me away. So let's get started with the first term, RAG status. This stands for red, amber and green status, which is pretty obvious once you figure it out. It's one of the most common terms and is used to indicate if something is on or off track. Just like a traffic like, red means there's something seriously wrong, hey, stop the bus, I need to get off. Amber, that might be something that needs to be looked at, but not enough to make you want to stop. Green, everything's great, the project can keep on going. Number two, work breakdown structure or WBS. This is one of the first deliverables of the project, if not the first. It's where you break your project into manageable chunks and have some logic around it. You've got things like your tasks, estimated time and the people that you want to use on it. Normally I do it as a team activity, so I get all the team together and have post-it notes that you can stick on walls and move around so that you can all interact and get something that makes logical sense. Number three, Gantt chart or schedule. This is a specific way to visualise the work that's needed to do to deliver the project. This falls out of the work that you've done with the work breakdown structure. It's taking everything you've done and putting it into logical flow with links between tasks. You add some more detail at this point, so you may have estimated start and end dates, estimated duration, the amount of effort needed to do the job, as well as relative progress. Number four is triple constraint. This is the absolute bane of a project manager's life. It's represented in a number of ways, but usually as a triangle. You'll have cost, time, and scope on the vertices and quality in the middle. The premise is you can't change one of the vertices without affecting the other two. You'll very often hear the phrase, pick any two because you can't have them all. Number five is methodology. This is the framework you use to manage the project. It could be PRINCE2, PMBOK, Agile, or a combination of them all. I've seen a number of projects recently where they're using PRINCE2, for example, to manage the actual project management and Agile to manage any development that's happening. So you pick the methodology that works best for the particular project that you're working on. Number six is business case. This is the fundamental document for your project. It's where you're presenting your case for actually doing the work and contains a lot of key information. It could be written by a business analyst and it goes up to your project committee to be approved and if it's signed off, then your project can start. Number seven is requirements. These are things that must happen or must be produced by the project. It can be anything from the new IT system must be able to integrate with EDFS single sign-on or the cake must be egg-free. They're usually grouped into three main types, business, stakeholder and solution. Number eight is risk. This is something that may or may not happen, but if it does happen, it will have a good or bad effect on the project. The risks may or may not be within your control. Number nine is issue. This is something that's happening on your project right now, like a big old burning fire. You may or may not have identified it as a risk, but it's something that needs to be treated now. Number 10 is milestone. This is an anchor point on the project management timeline. It's usually found on the Gantt chart and is represented by a diamond shape. It has absolutely no impact on the project schedule whatsoever. It's just there as a visual reference. Number 11 is stakeholder. This is someone or a group of someone's who will be or who think they will be directly or indirectly affected by what the project is supposed to be delivering. The last term is steering committee. This is a group of people that have been tasked with providing strategic guidance to the project and are there to support the project manager. Any big decisions that are outside the agreed tolerances need to be raised here. So these are some of the key terms that I think everyone involved with projects should know. Hopefully you found it useful. There are obviously loads more, so let us know in the comments below what other terms you think are key. And remember, if you're looking for a tool to help you manage your portfolios, programmes and projects, check out SODA by signing up for a free trial at www.soda.com.